Dublin's nightlife is currently undergoing serious changes. Capitalism is having a direct effect on the city's nightlife culture, with the rise of hotels, apart hotels, student accommodation and business offices higher than ever before. This has led to nightclubs like Hangar, District 8 and The Pod to close down, as well as other music venues such as JJ Smith's closing stores for letting space. A total of 79 hotels are given the green light in Dublin in 2018, which has led to the rapid decline of the electronic music scene and nightlife in the capital. The rapid decline of the city's nightlife has had an impact on the people within the surrounding communities, as well as the dancers looking for a place to express themselves. We'll be talking to Irish DJ Sunil Sharp, who has been influential in the development of Dublin's nightlife in recent years, by leading the Give Us the Night campaign, who are looking to improve Ireland's nightlife and refine our licensing laws. But what we would like to what we would like to ensure in the future is that when venues like this do shut, um, that the council, if they are making planning permission uh, decisions, if they are allow, allowing these venues to be bulldozed, um, that they come up with a plan to replace these venues elsewhere or to come up with something. You know, there's there's uh, the government and the council have lots of uh, lots of space, and I know a lot of people will say, well. What about social housing and whatnot? Uh, I think there's a lot of spaces that wouldn't necessarily be suitable for social housing, but that would be uh, suitable as uh, creative spaces. We'll also be talking to Councillor Tina McVeigh, who'll give us her thoughts on the rising number of properties having an effect on nightlife in the Dublin area. Murder of the Dance Floor, coming soon on RT2FM. <laughs>